We'll be working on an 8 by 10 inch canvas using acrylic paints in the colors black, brown, gold, cream, red, light green, and dark green. You'll also need a plastic cup or coffee mug or any other round item to trace your circles. So gather your paints and materials and then have your child or student follow along with the step-by-step -step video as I teach them how to paint. Let's get started. We're going to begin by painting the background cream. If you don't have cream, just mix a tiny bit of brown into white and then coat your canvas with an even layer of this cream colored paint. Next, dip your brush into some gold and just add a few streaks to your canvas. If you don't have gold, you can use yellow mixed with a tiny bit of brown. To make Rudolph's head, we're going to place this red party cup in the center of our canvas and trace around it with a pencil like this. When you're done with that circle, lower your cup to the middle point of that first circle and then trace a second circle. This part will be where his nose and mouth sit. Next, take a round brush, dip it into your brown paint, and fill in the two circles. Then, dip the tip of your brush into a little bit of black paint and trace around just the edges of the second circle. Grab some more brown and swirl it around the center. Dip the tip of your brush into black again and trace just the top edge of that first circle. This is where Rudolph's eyes will go. Fill in the rest with some more brown. Go to the bottom of your canvas and paint on a flat top triangle just below the circles. This will be Rudolph's neck. Add a little bit of black to the top and sides of the neck and then go back with some more brown. See how the black makes shadows? Next, dip that same brush into a little bit of the cream color and paint across the top circle where his eyes will go. If you mess up the bottom circle like I just did, just go back with a bit of black and brown to fix it. Add a bit of cream to the center of the bottom circle and the neck. This makes highlights. Now it's time to paint on Rudolph's antlers. Take a smaller round brush, dip it into some brown paint, and add a short wavy line coming up out of the top of his head. Add a second short line coming out of that one, and another longer line coming up out of that one. It's going to sort of look like a tree's branches. Go over to the other side of Rudolph's head and make a second set of antlers. Grab a thin liner brush and add a little bit of black to his antlers. Just follow along the lines you just made. Dip that same brush into some brown and paint on his first ear. Start to the side of his antler with a sort of roundish triangle. It's going to look a bit like a leaf. Now, go over to the other side of his head and paint on his second ear. It's okay if they don't perfectly match. Dip your brush into a bit of the cream color and add a few lines to Rudolph's antlers. Then, Fill in the center of each ear with a smaller triangle. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to paint on his nose. Dip a round brush into some red paint and draw a circle near the top center of the second circle. You can paint his nose as big or as small as you like. Just make sure to leave some room for his mouth. Now I'm going to paint his eyes closed so that it looks like he's laughing. To make these, just start with your brush low, make a hump, go back down and then up again, like you're making a tail. To make really simple eyes, just paint two black circles or ovals like we did for the nose. I like to add a bit of an eyelash too. Just add a short line above the fishtail to do this. Grab some more black paint and add on his mouth. I just added a simple smile that looks like the bottom part of a bowl. Then I went back and added two curved lines on each end to make dimples. Now you can stop here and be done with your Rudolph painting, or you can add some Christmas lights in his antlers like this. Dip your brush into some black paint and draw a string that goes in and around his antlers. Make sure to add a few swirls. This will be the light's cord. Next. Paint on some small black triangles attached to the cord. You should add a triangle everywhere you want a Christmas light to be. I painted six triangles because I want three red lights and three green lights. See how I have some triangles pointing up and some pointing down? Grab the brush you used to paint on Rudolph's nose and add three red light bulbs to your string. The red circles should touch the little black triangles. Then grab a clean brush and paint on three green circles for the green light bulbs. Dip a thin brush into some cream or white paint and add a curved line to Rudolph's nose to make it look like it's shining. Grab your brush with green paint and add a scarf to Rudolph's neck. Start by adding a thick green line at the top of his neck. It's going to sort of look like a dog collar. Then paint a short thick line going down one side. Paint a second thick line going out sideways. This line should be wavy so it looks like the wind is blowing his scarf. Add a tiny bit of black to the bottom part of the scarf so that it looks like it has shadows. Grab your liner brush with white paint and add some curved lines to each light bulb so that they look like they're shining, the same way you did for his nose. Now that his ears have dried, go back over the centers with cream paint to make them look a little bit brighter. To add polka dots to Rudolph's scarf, dip the back end of your paintbrush into the cream paint and gently tap it to your canvas. The back end of the brush will leave a small white dot. Do this all over his scarf. Next, dip your liner brush into red paint and add a row of short lines to the ends of the scarf to make fringe.
Then go back over it with some short white lines. And that's it, you're done. Now let's take a look at our finished Rudolph. Isn't he cute? See, you can paint anything as long as you break it down into simple steps.